The stock market stabilizing after experiencing its worst drop in nearly two years on Monday. Now, New York Congressman Richie Torres is calling on the Federal Reserve to immediately cut interest rates to avoid the risk of a recession. Congressman Torres joining us now. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being with us today. It's a pleasure to be here. So, Congressman, in a letter to the Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell, you say that the Fed is playing recessionary Russian roulette. You are demanding that he cut interest rates now. Why is that so urgent? Well, the Fed is like a doctor prescribing medicine to the economy. Uh, a wise person once said the difference between medicine and poison is dosage. And when it comes to interest rates, the dosage is too high. It's, it's poisoning the American economy. Uh, volatility in the stock market rose to a level not seen since the 2020 pandemic and the 2008 recession. Uh, unemployment is rising to the highest level in nearly three years. I do worry that the cure is becoming worse than the disease. And so the time is now for the Fed to cut interest rate for the good of the economy. So if the Federal Reserve waits to cut interest rates, what could it mean for the American wallet? Look, the lifeblood of our economy is credit. Uh, Americans depend on credit to open a business, to buy a home, to buy a car. Uh, if, if we go too far in restricting credit, as the, Fe as the Fed has done, uh, it can do an enormous amount of damage to an enormous number of businesses and households in America. Uh, you know, we've had the strongest recovery of any major economy in the world. And I worry that we're endangering or squandering that economy. According to JP Morgan, the odds of a recession has risen from 25 percent to 35 percent. So the longer the Fed takes to cut interest rates, the greater the risk of a recession. I'm sure it's no surprise to you that President Trump is seizing this moment and blaming Kamala Harris for the tanking of the uh, stock market on Monday. What do you believe is responsible for what we saw on Monday? Uh, it's all about interest rates. And look, John, Donald Trump has one of the worst records uh, when it comes to the economy. Uh, I mean, he, uh, during his presidency, we lost nearly three million jobs under both Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Uh, the, we've seen the creation of more than 15 million jobs. So Donald Trump has no credibility on the issue of the economy. The main issue here, the main challenge here is interest rates. If we lower interest rates, then we're going to radically reduce the risk of a recession and we're going to keep growing the American economy. I got to ask you, you know, we saw uh, Kamala Harris choose Tim Walls as her running mate. A lot of people had thought that Governor Josh Shapiro was the front runner there. Why do you think that she picked Walls? Well, I, I suspect it was a deeply personal decision. You, you know, in, in the Democratic Party has a deep bench of talent that includes Tim Walls and Josh Shapiro. You know, my impression is that uh, Governor Tim Walls is one of the most beloved figures in American politics. I mean, he had support from a wide range of public figures, ranging from Joe Manchin to Bernie Sanders. Uh, the fact that he had the support of both Bernie Sanders and Joe Manchin speaks to the breadth of his appeal. Uh, he's an immensely likable political figure, and likability is a valuable commodity in politics. So what do you say to those who feel like Walls is too far left? Well, if you examine his record, he has the record of a center-left Democrat, and he has a demonstrated ability to appeal to swing and independent voters uh, in the industrial Midwest, which is going to be critical to winning the election in November. So I see Tim Walls as a broadly appealing figure who can bring the Democratic Party together. All right, New York Congressman Richie Torres, always good to see you and always good to have you on. I'm sure we'll be talking to you a lot more <laughs> before Election Day. Thank you. Always a pleasure. All right.